Hey all you sub freaks and welcome back to Trionic 7. I want to give an extra special welcome to all of our new viewers. We have a lot of new subscribers, so welcome to Trionic 7. And for all of you returning viewers, welcome back. So today we'll be changing the spark plugs in my 2002 Saab 95 Aero. And I must say I have been neglecting the spark plugs. They've been quite a bit too far gone. So we'll be doing spark plugs today and make it run even better than now. So first we need to know the correct type of spark plug for your car. And I would say that you should first check your owner's manual, because it says right there. However, if your car is tuned or if you change the software, for instance, I've changed my arrow to also run on ethanol, which means it's a bio power binary. So I can't use the stock platinum plugs. Instead, I'll be using NGK BCP R7ES-11 spark plugs. And if you have your car tuned by some tuner, check with the tuner first to see the correct type. But in almost every case, you should use NGK spark plugs in your sub because the software is specially made to be tuned for NGK plugs. It's very important that you don't use the wrong type. So changing the spark plugs is easy and I'll show you how quick it goes. So first I'll be using a T30 Torx bit to remove the DI cassette. So there's four Torx screws holding it in. The screws are loose and now we're gonna loosen the connector. And there's a red tab, you push it to the side and then you pull it out on the other side while pulling the connector out. You'll see it when you do this. Connector out and now we lift up the whole cassette. There we go. And put it aside. So what's important with the cassette is that you store it upright and I like to put it next to the wheels while I'm working outside. If you happen to flip the cassette or even turn it upside down, then when you put it back you should wait 30 minutes or up to an hour to let all the oil drain down to help cool the cassette. Otherwise if you start the car without having the oil come all the way back, you might damage the cassette. And that's an expensive mistake to make. Here we see the four plugs and I'll be using a 16 millimeter deep socket. And at this stage I'll only be loosening them. Alright, so the spark plugs have been broken loose. Now I'm gonna use a fuel hose, and this is a fuel hose with an inner diameter of 10 millimeters. And this fits perfectly onto the spark plugs. So you push them down, and then you turn the last part. And this is an excellent tool for removing the spark plugs. And when the threads are out, the hose simply grabs onto the spark plug and you can lift it out. Now I can't put that picture in the video due to copyright, but I recommend that you go Google for this spark plug chart. There's a number of images on the web and you see for yourself what your spark plugs look like and compare it to the images. You might find things like coolant leaks or oil burning by just looking at the spark plugs. You could of course also use a special spark plug tool for this, but I found the fuel hose to work fine. And this way you won't drop your plugs in or out and you won't damage them. It can also be a good idea to use a vacuum cleaner to vacuum up here before you remove the plugs so you don't get dirt down into the cylinders. Let's take a look at the old spark plugs. Here are cylinders 1 to 4. Again, remember to check yours and compare to those spark plug charts you can find if you just Google it. Seems to be some kind of brown or rust colored discoloration on the tops here. Maybe it's just because they've been in far too long. So this tuned car needs to change spark plugs every 15,000 kilometers. And I think I've gone like twice of that, which is really stupid and a big mistake on my part. But at least I can acknowledge this on the internet. <laughs> so I hope you guys forgive me. And now we put in the new plugs. Again, I just put the spark plug slightly over the hose and then carefully thread it down into the hole. You don't want to hit the spark plug head on anything. And this is why it's a good idea to have the hose or a special spark plug tool. Otherwise it's a very easy thing to drop it and then you probably damage the plug or you put the wrong gap on it. 
and with the fuel line you will simply thread it a few times until you're very sure that it's threaded in correctly before you use your torque wrench because you don't want to cross thread the spark plugs that's going to be a lot of work and a big headache So these spark plugs have the number 11 at the end, which means it's pre-gapped from factory to 1.1 millimeters. I'm just going to stick with that gap. I won't use a feeler gauge to test the gap or anything, but if you want to, you could do that too. And also, I'm sure there's going to be a big debate down in the comments about which gap you should use, but I'm going to stick with 1.1 millimeter. And that's the last spark plug down in the well. So I'm finished with the fuel hose. Now let's pull out the torque wrench. And now we torque the spark plugs down to the correct torque, and I'll be using 28 newton meters. All right, let's go over them once again. Click, and then. Click, click, and click. So the plugs are done, let's put back the DI cassette. And the four bolts. And then you just snug the bolts up. Don't pull too hard. And finally the connector. And it goes in the same way as before. You need to pull the red tab out slightly. You will see the indentations here in the little red thing. And then you push the connector in and push the red tab down. And if everything works, you click when you're finished. So that's the spark plug job on the Saab 95 done. And as always, let's make a test start. Sounds great as always. So thanks for watching yet another video from Trianic 7, the YouTube channel for Saab enthusiasts. Hope you like this spark plug change video. It's quite an easy thing to do and it's a great way to get into servicing your own car and getting to work under the hood. Be sure to follow us on social media. As always, Facebook, Google+, Reddit, Twitter and Instagram. Or if you want to follow more of our videos and be notified when there's new stuff coming out, be sure to subscribe to us here on YouTube. So, Jonathan checking out and thanks again for watching. Bye bye. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the ECU in your Saab 95. And watch the windshield here, don't break it and don't cut yourself on the glass. To get the ECU out, we will do something even more cramped. Stock ECU is out, let's put it somewhere safe. <laughs>